you know, I'd, um, I really have a very different sense now, not when I was in the government, of what our role has been in the third world, which is very distinguishable from our role in the developed industrial societies where we have been allies with democracy and have promoted democracy. I don't think that's a fair generalization of what we've really done, and not just by accident. This is a disillusioning experience for me. Let me make a, a generalization here that I think will be very provocative to um, a lot of the listeners here. This will be a provocative assertion. I wouldn't have believed it myself 30 years ago. I find our policy in many parts of the world has been to promote uh, dictatorship, uh, often death squad dictatorship of the mur most murderous kind, and I'm speaking here now of El Salvador, Guatemala, Indonesia. I could name really quite a few other places where a policy, why? Because we like to murder people? No. But because we think the alternative, including the democratic alternative, going all the way back to Mossadegh, whom we replaced in a coup by the Shah back in 19, early 50s and later in Guatemala, we thought that the dictator was better for our interests. Mossadegh had been democratically elected prime minister in 1951 and was described as a beloved figure of enormous charisma to Iranians of all social classes. The U.S. and Britain's 1953 coup overthrew Mossadegh and reinstalled the Shah, a brutal dictator. In 2000, the U.S. officially admitted to being behind the coup, but has never even apologized. The coup allowed U.S. oil companies to take a 40% share in the Iranian Oil Consortium in 1954. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright admitted that the coup was clearly a setback for Iran's political development. And it is easy to see now why many Iranians continue to resent this intervention by America in their internal affairs. A hidden crisis is underway. Many government insiders are aware of serious plans for war with Iran, but Congress and the public remain largely in the dark. This is from Ellsberg's recent essay, The Next War. His essay urges government officials to reveal truths about government secrecy and nuclear planning with documents to avert a possible attack on Iran. 